Hello, everyone. How are you? Good evening, guys. Ay, qué barbaridad. Solo está estado uno. <laughs> está en de cada día más tarde. <laughs> Hoy le toca clase privada, don Noé. <laughs> está muy bien. Déjeme ver, solo. Hello, Miss. Solo estaré de oyente. Creo que es Xochitl lo que me está diciendo eso. Ok, so chill, no problem. Vamos a dar un minutito, ¿no? Para ver si se conecta más y podemos empezar, ¿de acuerdo? Mientras tanto, le voy a compartir la pantalla, espérenme. Slideshow. Deme un minuto y ya le comparto la pantalla. Uh, acá. Me avisa si ya la ve, por favor. All right. So, do you remember? Vamos a ver. Este, ¿Qué nivel es para ustedes? Don, es como el segundo que está haciendo Queen Support o el tercero. No, ¿eh? Casi no le escucho. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí. Le preguntaba si este es el segundo o el tercer módulo que está haciendo ya con, con inglés corporativo. No. Primero. El primero. Ah, o sea, lo colocaron en solo en, en intermedio. Uh -huh. Muy bien, pre intermedio. Very good. <ríe> ok, so entonces esas cosas ya las saben. ¿no? <ríe> ok, we're going to be talking about your daily routine in detail. We're going to be talking about your daily routine in detail. Vamos a hablar about su rutina. Su rutina diaria. <laughs> but in detail, okay? So, ¿cómo funciona esto? We're going to be talking about simple present, okay? Eso es solo repaso antes de iniciarlo de ahora, okay? So, como repaso, vamos a hablar de nuestra rutina a detalle, ¿no? okay? What do we do every day? Y yo le voy a dar un ejemplo. A este punto, como somos pre-intermedio, tendríamos que ya, cuando hablamos de estos temitas así, tendríamos que ya ir generando entre siete o ocho oraciones cuando hablamos, ¿ok? Porque es un tema específico, ¿verdad? Es como mi rutina diaria, pero en detalle. So, les voy a dar un ejemplo yo. Welcome, María. Have a good night. <laughs> good evening. Good evening, Miss. Ok, estábamos hablando con Noé, que vamos a empezar a practicar. Nuestra daily routine, pero a detalle, ¿ok? Vamos a recordar, a refrescar esta parte, utilizando simple present, ¿ok? Entonces, yo les doy mi ejemplo primero y luego van ustedes con lo suyo. Por ejemplo, I wake up at, I wake up at 4.30 a.m. every day. I wake up at 4.30 a.m. every day. And I usually take a shower After I wake up, if there is water, si hay agua, niña. <laughs> I take a shower after I wake up. And then I start to work at 6 a.m. Comienzo a trabajar a las 6 a.m. I start to work at 6 a.m. I llevo tres oraciones. I start to work at 6 a.m. Later, at 7 a.m., I eat my breakfast. At 7 a.m., I eat my breakfast. And I continue to work until noon. I continue trabajando hasta mediodía. And I continue to work until noon. Um, at 1 p.m., a la 1 p.m., at 1 p.m., I usually go out for lunch. Salgo a lunch, almuerzo. I go out for lunch. And I sometimes I prepare something in the house or sometimes I eat something that the family prepares, okay? In the afternoon, I always go To walk. In the afternoons, I always go to walk. En las tardes siempre salgo a caminar because it's good exercise. I don't like to do exercise. I only walk. <laughs> That is my only option. And then I return. When I return, cuando regreso, in the afternoon, when I return, I start teaching. Comienzo a dar clases at night. Okay. Finally, I go to sleep at 11 p.m. Termino yéndome a dormir a las 11 p.m., ¿ok? I finally go to sleep at 11 p.m., ¿ok? Good, so now it's your turn. Ahora es el turno de ustedes. Cada uno va a ir haciéndolo igual, ¿de acuerdo? 
No sé quién quiere iniciar, ¿no, eh? Ok, vamos a ver entonces. Ok, en mi caso, I work every day at 6 a.m. Ok. En Okay. I work in my home. Perfect. And, uh, then I uh, open my education to everybody mm -hmm. <laughs> for uh, the program. program mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. All day. Uh, I work to Thank you, Noe. Very good. <laughs> All right, Maria, your turn. Tell us about your daily routine. Cuéntanos su rutina diaria. Usando simple present, Maria. Simple present. Okay. I'm, I get up usually uh, night, at night. Okay. I know. See, at night. 9 a.m. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> because I work at night means mm -hmm. igual maravilloso sí. <laughs> eh, then, then um, este, eh, I eating my my breakfast mm -hmm. I eat my breakfast I eat my breakfast eh, then I take a shower mm -hmm. um, Sometime 11 a.m. Okay. A.m. At 11 a.m. Yeah, uh, 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, then I watch, in, I watch TV. Watch TV, correct? TV about one or two or hours. Hours. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Then I pre prepare, 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 prepare for me, my job. For my job, uh huh. And I. Um, trabajo ocho horas, como es? I work eight hours. I work eight hours, uh huh. And usually I finish at uh, 12. Or oh, one a.m. A.m. 
a.m. Uh -huh. And then I go to my house. Uh -huh. And I go to sleep. <laughs> at, one, at 2 a.m., <laughs> Maria. <laughs> More okay. or less. Very good, thank you, correct. Um, Azucena, estamos, eh, estamos hablando de nuestra daily routines como repaso, okay? So, I don't know if you want to go right now. Tenemos que dar como mínimo ocho o diez oraciones a detalle, okay? Our daily routines a detalle, using simple present, okay? Um, so, Chil, no sé si siempre lo va a escribir en el chat o si lo va a, um, si va a poder hablar los ocho. And then Azucena, you would be next. Usted sería la siguiente. Ahorita o es, espero Ahorita. a que Sochi. <laughs> Ajá, en lo que Sochi contesta. Ajá. Ah, ok. Eh, bye. <laughs> Voy entrando, pero creo que más o menos comprendí el. Perfect. Uh -huh. uh, about my routine. Daily routine. Uh -huh. Daily routine. Um, I get up. 3.40 a.m. At 3.40 a.m.? At 3.40 a.m. Oh my God, that's really early, as you said. <laughs> yes, really early. <laughs> okay. And I... I... take a shower. Mm -hmm. And I go to my work at five o'clock. Oh, okay. And, and I, I, I have my breakfast in 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. or 8 a.m. <laughs> Trato de hacer una pausa. Okay. Um, I work in. ¿Cómo se dice casi en inglés? Almost. Almost. Uh mm -hmm. I work in almost twelve oh, hours in the mm. day. <laughs> I work in no. I work. I work. I work. Almost. Uh -huh. I work twelve hours. Oh my God, that is a lot of time working as a singer. I, I, I work holic. You're a workaholic, <laughs> yes, correct. And, and I, I take my, my, my lunch at 12 o'clock mm -hmm. and occasionally. Occasionally, I, muy bien. Occasionally. Uh -huh. take uh, también se puede decir lunch como refrigerio mm, break o a snack si fuera ah, como uh, merienda snack I okay, occasionally occasionally I take, I take uh, a snack for 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 uh, pm okay. and I I get I go to my house mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. Wow. In, in, in occasionally, mm -hmm. uh, 8 or, or 9 p.m. <laughs> that, <laughs> wow, that is a lot of traveling. <laughs> and, and my work is so so hard <laughs> not so hard it's not tan difficult not so hard okay. mm -hmm. not so hard but do and you have two days off as you say now or do you have only one day off uh, perdón? do you have two days off or do you have one day off um i have two day off oh, okay. and saturday and sunday oh okay that's perfect. And and the Tuesday, mm -hmm. I I work in my house, home office. 
Oh, very good. Thank you, Azucena. Very good job. Muy bien, Azucena. <laughs> good. Then we have Luz Clara Fuentes. What is your daily routine, Luz Clara? Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome Estaba back. escuchando. <laughs> acabo... Hi. Estaba escuchando un poco de lo que estaban hablando y en este momento estoy haciéndolos. Ah, ok. Sí. Igual realmente estamos improvisando, Luz Clara, porque es repaso de lo, lo que estoy ahorita confirmando que ustedes ya manejan esto, ¿verdad? Antes de moverme y ah, sí. yes. que sería la daily routine por lo general, para hablar de rutinas hablamos en simple present, ¿ok? Y ese es el escenario. Um, pueden hablar ya sea de su ah, daily sí. routine o pueden hablar de daily routine de otra persona, que sería lo único que cambiaría es que lo harían en tercera persona, ¿right? So, no sé con cuál quiere in, intentarlo, Clara. Ok. Um, um, about my daily routine. Ok. But I don't remember. <laughs> no recuerdo mucho, pero... Okay. Igual, solo tiene que usar simple present. Todas sus oraciones tienen que ir en presente simple. Y solo tiene que decir como las actividades diarias, ¿ok? Como me baño, me cepillo, voy al trabajo, como a esta hora hago tal cosa. Eso. Más, mínimo ocho oraciones. Mm -hmm. Porque en ese nivel en que ustedes están en pre-intermedio, okay. ya cuando se les da un tema específico, tendrían que poder manejarme de ocho a diez oraciones en conversación, ¿ok? So, sirve como métrica para el profesor. Sí, sí, está bien que estén acá, ¿verdad? Y podemos ir avanzando. ¿Ok? Veamos luz. Okay. Mm, okay. I take a shower at 4 a.m. All right. Mm. Three days a week. Okay. When I work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> And I wash my teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, I brush my teeth. Sorry. I brush my teeth. I brush. Mm -hmm. uh, I brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember when I want to tell. Cuatro y diez. Four ten. How? Four uh, ten okay. I am. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. I brush my deed uh -huh. for ten a.m. Yeah. Uh -huh. And... Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Voy a preguntarle a alguien más y le voy a dejar que piense. Los que Pero sí nos sirve como auto, auto evaluación, ¿verdad? Tengo que repasar esto porque no puedo ir avanzando y olvidando lo, lo, lo básico. Ahí ¿no? tengo que tenerlo, tengo que manejar la luz. Idealmente, vamos, tenemos que hacer oraciones seguidas, una tras otra. Si yo empiezo a hacer esto, um, um, mi cerebro se distrae. El cerebro humano se distrae y ya no nos va a dar lo que estamos buscando. Entonces, idealmente tenemos que estarlo practicando, right? Vamos a ver, um, Eduardo Rivas, please. What is your daily routine? Eduardo, ¿está ahí? Yeah, good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome back, Eduardo. Han pasado 84 años. Oh, sí, ya estamos en Eduardo. <laughs> Okay. Bueno, eh, in the morning I, I wake up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. I sometimes I'm go running in the morning at 5:30. Okay. And I eat breakfast at 7 every day. 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I start work at 7:30. And I always eat lunch at at 12. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I run in the afternoon too at 3 p.m. Um, I, I have dinner at 5 p.m. every day. 
Um, I take classes uh, at the university from Monday to Thursday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then I take English class from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, almost always um, I, I read some books or I do my homework and I go to my, I go to bed at, at 1 a.m. Very good. Oh, that's a little late. <laughs> that's really late yeah. to go to sleep. You only that's sleep, a total of you sleep <laughs> like four hours only. Yeah, every day. That's, that's a love. That's crazy. But <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. Eduardo gave us 11 sentences. Nos dio 11 oraciones. Si se fijaron, Eduardo, en casi todas sus oraciones, utilizó un adverbio de tiempo. Sometimes, usually, almost always, right? Los adverbios de tiempo también nos sirven como conectores y nos ayudan a darle, a establecer en qué momento pasan las oraciones, right? No necesariamente tenemos que ir dando la hora siempre. Very good, Eduardo. Um, let's see. Sochi dijo que no podía. No sé si estamos listas ya, Luis Clara. Ahora sí. <ríe> si no, we can move forward. Vamos a ver. Casi. <ríe> casi, casi lo logramos. Vaya. We're going to talk about describing people. All right. We're going to start to talk about describing people. I'm going to need one, two, three, four. Four. Vamos a ocupar cuatro voluntarios. Cada uno va a leer uno de los bloquecitos que están. Este, el primero, este, el segundo, tercero y cuarto. Ok. So, Azucena, you will be number one. Thank you. Um, Noé, you will be number two. Perdón. Number two will be Noé. And then... María Sigüenza nos ayuda con la tres y Luz nos va a leer la cuatro, la sección que dice here. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, ok. Eh, general appearance. Uh -huh. What does she look like? Uh -huh. She's tall with red hair. She's go gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Uh -huh. Gorgeous. She's uh -huh. gorgeous. Uh -huh. Does he wear glasses? Yes. And he has a ver beard. Beard. Uh -huh. Beard. Very good. Thank you. Gorgeous. Es un adjetivo para decir, es casi como, no sé, como decir preciosa, pero se ocupa para diferentes cosas en diferentes contextos. Si, si se refiriera a, a una mujer, es como decir preciosa. Pero si se refiriera a decir un regalo o algo así, es como hermoso, right? Es como súper bonito. A eso se refiere gorgeous. Es como un superlativo. Then we have H, number two. Okay, number two, H. How old is she? She's about 62. She's in her 30s. Thirties. How old is she? She is in her 30s. Thank you. Okay, number three, please. Height. Hold. Hey. Say the height. How tall height. is she? Mirror 88. Hi. Oh, me dice que tengo una conexión. Hi. How tall is she? She's she is one meter eighty eight. One meter eighty eight. She's feet two. Correct. Tall is he. He's quite short. Thank you. And number four. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark, light brown. He has brown hair. Thank hair, no hair. <laughs> yes, hair. Thank you. Okay, muy bien. So when we're describing people, 
we're going to start talking about general appearance per appearance first. And then we're going to talk about qualities, personality, second, right? But when you're describing the first things you talk about are the general appearance. Cuando describimos a alguien, hablamos primeramente de la apariencia en general, right? Como se ve, es alto, bajito, gordito, es delgado, es chelito, es moreno, trigueño, el color de pelo, el largo de pelo, el tipo de pelo, right? ¿Qué son las cosas que veíamos ayer? Los adjetivos que estábamos utilizando ayer para este tipo de descriptions. So, I'm going to be asking each of you. Les voy a estar haciendo un par de estas preguntas a cada uno de ustedes sobre alguien que ustedes conozcan, que es su abuelito, su abuelita, su primo, su tía. Okay, so you can practice on this. For example, um, si a mí me preguntaran, Miss, what does your father look like? Miss, ¿cómo se ve su papá? Ah, my father is really tall and he has dark skin. Mi papá es moreno, he has dark skin and he has curly short hair. He has brown eyes and he is a little bit chubby. Es un poco gordito. He's a little bit chubby. Okay. Y ahí termina. Ya hablamos de la apariencia en general. Okay. So we're going to check um, Azucena. Azucena, what does your mother look like? Uh, my mother is a woman of middle, middle age. Mm -hmm. And she is medium height. Uh, she hair is black. Hair, hair. And her her hair mm -hmm. is black. And no recuerdo la palabra que nos dijo para ondulado. Curl, ah, uh, wavy. Wavy. Mm -hmm. And and wavy. Okay. Uh, her has she uh, has she has mm -hmm. coffee brown perdón brown eyes <laughs> brown eyes <laughs> es lo mismo solo que uno se bebe y el otro es color <laughs> pero sí por ahí vamos <laughs> yeah and, brown eyes uh -huh. and uh, she she is very very pretty very good thank you Okay, so we're taking this into consideration. Tomando eso en consideración. We have different questions que hacemos en particular. Okay, ya vamos a ver esto más a detalle. Pero vamos a seguir ahorita con esta práctica. So, vamos a ver Noé. Noé, what does your son look like? ¿Cómo se ve su hijo? What does your son look like, Noé? My son is, uh, I see him. Very handsome. Okay, my son is handsome. Okay. Uh -huh. He's a good student. Good student. Pero hablamos, uh -huh. hablamos de apariencia general, ¿no? Veamos. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's, uh, his hair is black. Um, curly. Okay. Uh -huh. Black curly hair. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very tall. Okay, he is very tall. Very tall. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what he's kind. He's kind. kind. What color are his eyes? Eyes, no color. eyes, eyes. His color. His color. He, uh -huh. His eyes are. His son. His eyes are. Brown. Okay. Does he does he wear glasses? Ocupa lentes. Does he wear glasses? No. No. He does not. No, he does not. ¿Verdad? Preguntamos con does he? No, he doesn't. Oh, no, he does not. No, he doesn't. Very good. Thank you, Noé. Let's see. In this case, Rodolfo. 
What does your best friend look like? ¿Cómo se ve su mejor amigo o mejor amiga? What does your best friend look like, Rodolfo? Um, my best friend has a uh, brown hair, a straight hair, and he's 31 years old. Um, um, he's very tall. Um, he has a uh, brown eyes and mm -hmm. the dark skin. Dark skin, all right. Very good. Does he wear glasses? No, he doesn't. All right, very good. Thank you. And now we're going to check Luz Clara. Luz Clara, what does your mother look like? She is small. Okay. She has. She is small or she is short? She is short, sorry. Yes. Uh -huh. She has light brown eyes okay. and she has curly hair. Okay. Um, um, she is beautiful. Very <laughs> okay, what color is her skin? It's uh, how do you say Blanca? White. Oh, white. Oh, así se dice también. She has white skin, yes. Oh, okay, white skin. Okay, very good. Thank you. Algo importante que te notar cuando hablamos de las medidas de estatura, height. Si se fijan acá en la pantalla, el ejemplo dice, how tall is she? ¿Qué tan alta es ella? She is one meter 88. O el otro dice, she is six feet two. En Estados Unidos y creo que en Europa también se mide por pies. La altura se mide por pies. Pero acá en Centroamérica la medimos en metros y centímetros. Okay? In my case, I am one meter 55. Bueno, one meter 56. <laughs> so I'm not that tall. I'm not tall. What about you, Maria? How tall are you? ¿Qué tan alta es usted, Maria? Está en mute. I am one meter sixty-two. Very good. You are tall, one sixty-two. Yes. Interesting. A ver, ¿quién es más bajito que yo aquí? Noé Vázquez, how tall are you? Uh -huh. How tall are you? ¿Qué tan alto es usted? How tall are you? Uh, ¿Mm? One meter, un metro? Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> si así se mide en Centroamérica, no es uno cincuenta y cinco, lo se mide un metro cincuenta y cinco en mi casa. Medida uh, minion. Uh -huh. no, no, <laughs> no, 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 One meter sixty-five. Eduardo, how tall are you? I'm short. Mm -hmm. What I'm does one, that mean? <laughs> one meter and sixty. That's not short. That's still taller than me. And who am I missing? Azucena, how tall are you? I tall. I am. No, I, I, I am medium head. I one meter and 55 centimeters. ¿Cómo se dice hey. centímetros en inglés? Buena pregunta. Todos han estado diciendo solo el número, pero nadie preguntó eso. Muy buena pregunta. Centimeters. Se escribe centímetros, pero se dice centimeters. Centimeters. Um, okay. 55 centimeters. Medimos igual. Yo, okay. <laughs> 
Muy bien, Azucena. Okay, so we're going to continue doing the practice we were doing, so don't worry, okay? So, moving forward. Cuando ustedes quieren preguntar cómo se ve alguien físicamente, van a preguntar, en, dependiendo si, si es en pasado o en, en presente, right? En ese escenario, lógicamente estamos hablando en presente. Eso sería lo que yo les preguntaba. What does tercera persona look like? Ok. Si yo no pudiera ver la cámara, por ejemplo, yo no puedo ver a Rodolfo ahorita, tiene la cámara apagada. Pero como es primera persona, no le voy a preguntar what does, le voy a preguntar what do you look like. All right. Rodolfo, what do you look like? Can you describe yourself? Okay. Um, I'm, I am tall. I am... I am uh, black hair. No, I am. No, I have black hair. I have... Sorry, I have black hair and brown eyes. Mm -hmm. And my, I have a, como trigueño. Bueno, era, era, I was. Trigueño. Trigueño. ¿Trigueño se refiere al color de cabello o se refiere no. al color de piel? Eso existe. Trigueño. Oh, sí, white existe. Skin. White skin. Ajá, es que no, solo hay white skin o dark skin people. <ríe> Trigueño no existe. Uh, <ríe> <doesn't exist>. Requemado. <ríe> no, espérense. Si ¿Our case? Ver. Mm, o sea que trigueño no es moreno y no es, no es piel clara tampoco. Trigueño uh -huh. es como el intermedio. Como, como canelón. Es que en, en España les dicen trigueñas y ocupamos el, el adjetivo brunette. Para, para los europeos, brunette, trigueño, pero ellos, ellos dicen eso cuando se refieren al cabello, que es de cabello oscuro. Entonces ellos se refieren, para ellos trigueño es alguien de cabello oscuro, por eso no, no me hacía match con la piel, pero lo vamos a averiguar a qué se refiere. Pues guay skin, entonces. Muy bien. <ríe> Usted ya, ¿para cuál voy más? <ríe> White skin, ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Do you wear glasses, Rodolfo? No, I don't. I, I don't. <ríe> Muy bien, se salvó. <ríe> Very I good. Don't. Ok, let's see Eduardo, Eduardo. We're going to pretend que no lo puedo ver. What do you look like? What do you look like, Eduardo? Describe yourself. Okay, I'm short. I'm, I think, um, uh, what? I have black hair, brown Long hair. Long hair or short hair? Uh, short hair. Okay. I have short hair and I have brown eyes mm -hmm. and white skin. Um, what else? That's it. <laughs> Do you wear glasses, Eduardo? Yeah, sometimes. Ah, okay. All right. So, very good. Me faltó alguien de descripción. Luz Claro se ya hizo description. About me? Mm -hmm. What no. do you look like, Luz Clara? Describe yourself. Mm -hmm. I have long hair and it's black. Um, okay. No, it's brown. Mm -hmm. And how do you say Moreno again? Brunette. Brunette. Mm -hmm. I have brunette skin. Oh, no, no. Se dice Moreno de piel, dark skin. Ah. <laughs> I have dark skin. It's really sad, but. Ay, niño, no diga eso. Qué bárbaro. It's not too sad. Yeah, because my mother and my sister have white skin, but don't worry. No worries, I have. Ajá. And I am tall. Tall, okay. And I have. 
brown eyes. Perfect. Thank you, Lisbeth. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving forward. En lo que estamos. Para preguntar apariencia física, what do you look like? Si le están preguntando a la persona directamente, what does fulanito o fulanita look like? Pero tercera persona también es it. Cosas o animales. Lugares también. Ok. So, si yo le pregunto, what does your office look like? ¿Qué me contestaría? Ok. What does your office look like? What does your bedroom look like? Right? What does your church look like? ¿Cómo se ve su iglesia? Ni sé, niña. Un año de ir a una iglesia. But we can, we can improvise. Age. Siempre que queramos hacer preguntas sobre edad, Sería how old is, si en tercera persona, how old are, para primera y plurales, ok? Height. Y en height siempre la pregunta va a ser how tall are you, o how tall is he, or how tall is she. Siempre va a variar, siempre va a depender de qué persona estamos preguntando, de los subject pronouns, ok? So, for activity, for the practice, you're going to answer the following questions, ok? Yo I'm going to be asking these questions to each of you. Yo le voy a hacer haciendo estas preguntas a cada uno de ustedes, ¿de acuerdo? La idea es que no lo escriban, sino que lo contesten en el momento. De eso se trata, ¿ok? De generar el idioma, no solo de irlo escribiendo y memorizando. So, we're going to ask María. María, what does your best friend look like? She has long, straight hair. Is merely is John okay? Uh, it, um, is pretty okay? Is very friendly. Um, <laughs> that's it. Your eyes, uh, your eyes, her eyes, mm -hmm. her eyes. <laughs> is black. Are are black. Uh, are black. Uh, always is happy. Very good. Perfect. Does she wear braces? The braces for any use. Brackets. No sé por qué la dice brackets. La palabra es braces. Does she wear braces? No, she does. Terminemos. Huh? No, she does. No, she, no, 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 she doesn't. <laughs> Correct. No, she doesn't. Very good. How old is your pet, Maria? What? How old is your pet? Uh, Mi mascota. Mm -hmm. How old is your pet? I uh, it it has it is it is five old years. Five years old. <laughs> no, no worries. Si se fijan, estas preguntas lo sacan de su zona de confort. No son las típicas preguntas que ven en, como en estándar en el libro. Porque se trata de eso. Si yo les pregunto exactamente lo mismo que vean a ver en la plataforma, en todas las presentaciones, realmente no están aprendiendo, no están generando. ¿Ok? Pero si ya pueden contestar improvisar en el momento de eso se trata y es donde yo sé que voy aprendiendo que voy avanzando very good how tall are you eso ya me lo contestó María así que estamos bien let's ask you how tall is your brother or your sister María uh, she is very high very tall <laughs> very tall mm, ok good no es necesario que me dé la, la estatura con eso ya no pasa how long is your, oh no, I see, I know. your, your friend's how hair is long, all right? Very good. Let's see, Noe. Noe, what does your best friend look like? Su mejor amigo o mejor amiga, como se ve? Appearance. Uh, my friend is very, very well. Okay. Uh, how uh, are wrong? Okay. Uh, why uh, uh, they uh, she go she go she go 
Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Does your friend wear braces, Noe? No. Does he wear braces? Braces, les dije que era lo que la gente, no sé por qué dicen brackets, frenillos, right? La palabra uh, es braces. Does he wear no. braces? He's not braces. No. He is not or he does you, not? He does not. Wear braces. braces. Exactly, very good. How old is your pet, Noe? Um, the house, the house, uh, house. It is? It is three years old. Three years old. Ah, muchachitos, tienen que practicar esos números. How tall are you? Bueno, eso ya nos lo contestó. How tall is your brother or your sister, Noé? Uh, my sister is so. It's short. Okay. It's short. okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Eduardo, what does your boss look like? Wow, my boss. <laughs> he has um, he has black hair and uh, he has light brown eyes. Eyes. He, 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 eyes. Yeah. Uh -huh. He has a uh, a bit fat. Uh, he has um, brown skin. His thing. No. <laughs> Brown skin. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Does he uh, wear braces? Uh, Does your boss wear braces? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Very good. He doesn't wear braces. How old is your pet? My pet is three or four years old. Okay. And how tall are you? Ya lo contestamos. How tall is your brother or your sister? My brother, I only have a brother. Um, okay. He is, he is small, no, short. he's short. He's okay. short. Also, um, when we don't want to say short, a veces, um, cuando no queremos decir bajito, porque bajito sería tipo, bueno, a mí siempre me dicen bajito, pero yo considero que no soy bajito. Pero cuando no queremos decir bajito, ocupamos la palabra average. Average height, average. como estatura promedio, que no es ni muy alto mm -hmm. ni es bajito, como yo. <laughs> average, yes. En el chat se lo voy a poner. Average height. Average height, estatura promedio. Uh -huh. no, está, no es muy alto y no es muy bajito tampoco. Ok. And then we're going to check with Azucena. Azucena, ya le pregunté. No, no. What does your best friend look like, Azucena? Uh, my best friend uh -huh. is, is fat. Oh um, my God. <laughs> pero, but, but it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Um, she, she, ha she hair. Hair, is, hair? Hair. Her hair mm -hmm. is straight. Okay. And, uh, she has red hair. Red hair. Okay. Is shy. She is shy. Okay. And is medium height. Medium height. Uh, mid, igual que yo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Medium height. Very good. Does she wear braces, Azucena? No, she she no ha, use braces. A ver, does she wear braces? Sé que me lo dijo negativo, pero ¿cómo se contesta correctamente? Eh, Estamos usando el auxiliar. No, that. she no. No, she does not. No, she does not. Yes. Y algo que les puede ayudar también um, a refrescar la memoria el active listening, escuchar activamente. El auxiliar, siempre traten de identificar si hay un auxiliar en la pregunta. Si hay un auxiliar, 
con ese con el que ustedes van a contestar si es necesario, ¿verdad? Si aplican la, la respuesta. En este caso, como es negativo, sí voy a usarlo. No, she does not. O no, she doesn't. ¿Verdad? So, very good. Okay. Thank you. Um, how old is your pet, Azucena? And I have much pet and... Many uh, pets. Much is para no many, countable. <laughs> many, many pets. Uh, how many uh, pets do you have? Them, I have... I have... In la tortuga, in have, la gallina. <laughs> no, uh, only cat. Oh my God. Uh, kittens. Si son gatitos chiquitos, le decimos kittens. Kittens. Es si no grande y pequeña. <laughs> kittens, okay. So you have... Uh, I have... Es que olvidé el número 20, lo siento. <laughs> 20. <laughs> 20, 22. Are you serious? Really? Yes. Oh my God. Uh, the more old have the oldest? six. The oldest uh -huh. is six years old. Perfect. The oldest is six years old. Superlatives. El más viejito, the oldest. Tiene seis años. Es de seis años. Very good. Okay, how tall is your brother or your sister, Azucena? Uh, my brother is pretty tall. Pretty tall, right? Yeah, because you're kind of tall also. Very good, thank you to the ones who participated. Next, we're going to talk about your favorite place. Think about your favorite place in El Salvador, obviously, right? What is your favorite place in El Salvador? What does it look like? Does it have free Wi-Fi? Are the prices high, average, or low in that place? When was the last time you were there? How is the weather in that location, in that place? Como es el clima en ese lugar? Do you recommend to visit that place? In my case, I go first to give the example. My favorite place in El Salvador is Entre Nubes Café. And it looks like a, like a forest. Cuando nos preguntan, ¿cómo se ve tu lugar favorito? No vamos a decir el color, porque no estamos hablando de personas. Pero vamos a dar una descripción general. It looks like a forest. Para que se den una idea, parece un bosque. Right? It looks like a forest. It has a lot of nature around the restaurant. It is a restaurant, but it has a lot of nature surrounding. Tiene un montón de naturaleza rodeándolo. So it, that's how it looks. Así se ve. It looks like a garden. Parece un jardín. Does it have free Wi-Fi? Yes, there is free Wi-Fi in Entre Nubes Café. Are the prices high, average, or low? The prices son altos, son promedios, o son bajitos. The prices, I think, I consider the prices are average. For example, one cup of coffee is like $2. So that's average, right, in El Salvador. When was the last time that I was in Entre Nubes Café? The last time I was there was one year ago. One year ago, I was there. And the weather is very cold because it's in Huayua, I think, or somewhere near. It's cerca de esos lugares fríos. So the weather is really cold. El clima es bien helado. The weather is really cold in that place. And do I recommend to visit the location? Yes, I do. I recommend you to visit Entre Nubes Café. Okay, vamos a ver. Um, Rodolfo, what is your favorite place in El Salvador? My favorite place in El Salvador is Entre Pino. Okay. And you can start answering the questions. Si puedo ir contestando las preguntas. Uh, it have a free Wi-Fi and the price, price, price the price are uh, above in high and in average. Mm, and, los tres son altos, promedio y bajos. Uh, for example, the, the room mm -hmm. for a for a night for me is very very expensive or high. Okay, but high the, price. 
the food is, is average. The um, price is average. Okay. All right. When was the last time? Uh, one year ago. Okay. Uh, April for my birthday. Perfect. Okay. How is the weather in that place? It's cloudy. All right. Uh, Do you recommend to visit that place? Yes, I recommend visit it, visit the place because Very it's good. a good experience. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Rodolfo. Luz Clara, what is your favorite place in El Salvador? My favorite place in Salvador, Salvador is El Santa Beach. Okay. It is a very quiet beach. Quiet beach. Mm -hmm. A quiet beach, mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. um, with few people, a few no, Okay, few. yes, with few people, uh-huh. Um, the sunset looks spectacular. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you feel very peace? At peace. Uh -huh. Okay. Peace. Mm -hmm. and is there free Wi Fi in El Sante? Sorry again? Is there free Wi Fi at El Sante? No. No, it's not free. Okay. There is not. No, there is not. No, I know. Not there is not. Okay. No, Are the prices not. high? Average or low at El Sante? Uh, average or? Low. ¿Son altos, promedio o bajitos los precios? Um, average. Okay. Average. When was the last time you were there? Mm, in December. Perfect. In December. Yeah. How is the weather in that place? And not as cold, but it is not cold. It's not cold. And how do you say entre fresco y mm, ocupa la expresión so so? Es como ah. not so cold, not so warm, not so hot. Mm -hmm. ah, not it's so cold. So -so. No. Mm -hmm. cold. Yes. So, so. Yeah, very good. Do you recommend to visit that place? Yes, I recommend to visit this place. Very good. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be it for tonight, everyone. Eso va a ser todo por esta noche. Tomorrow we start a new topic. Mañana iniciamos un nuevo tema, así que espero verlos a todos. Descansen, have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher.